Okay, this how-to video is going to um, go through one of the P-SPICE examples that's available from the analog design and simulation using AUKAD Capture and P-SPICE. Uh, this book was written by Dennis Fitzpatrick, who's uh, an ex-Cadence AE. So if we go to page 48, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a primary and secondary sweep uh, on a transistor circuit. So we'll just create a new, a new project. Let's just call it transistor. Um, needs to be a, an analog or mixed AD project type. Uh, I've got a, a directory location. I click OK. I'm just going to create a blank project. And then we can start drawing the parts. So um, a couple of ways to place the parts. I can use the place menu, place part. Um, come along to find the transistor that I specifically want. Um, and the way you would add a library is click on the add library button and then browse to the specific location where the libraries are stored. Now from a default cadence point of view, these are where the PSPICE libraries are stored, so it's in the installation directory tools capture library PSPICE. Once you've got the library added, you then locate the part that you want. You can see I've got Q2N39A4 as per the, the example in the book. Um, so let's just double click to place the transistor down. Now I can place other parts using this method, or I can also use the, the place PSPICE component. I've got passive, so let's add a, a resistor. So what I want is I want a couple of resistors and I'm just going to drop these directly onto the pins. Once they're there, I can then click and drag these apart, um, which is a quick way to wire them up. I also need to place um, a couple of sources. So we'll add a, let's add a voltage source. And we'll also add a current source. R to rotate if we need to rotate the parts and then I'm just going to add some ground symbols so from the source library and then what we're going to do is just wire this up quickly so W to wire Right, so there's our basic circuit. What we need to do is obviously add, oh, let's just add another wire in there. So first of all, I need to label the output. So we'll give it a net alias called VCE. I then need to adjust some of these values. So um, the, the voltage source needs to be 12 volts. And the resistors We've got a 100k resistor here, and we just want a 1 ohm resistor here, so we can just double click on the value and put 1 in. Okay, so that's our basic circuit. Let's just save that. Once that's done, what we need to do now is set up a couple of simulation profiles. So we can obviously use the PSPICE new simulation profile. Again, looking at the matching icons, there's a matching icon here, so we can click on the new simulation profile here. Let's give it a name. Um, now we can inherit it from another simulation profile if we want or we can browse to a location in the design or in, in another design but I'm just going to create a blank one and then up comes the simulation settings so we can go and make some changes so we'll start off we want to do a, uh, a DC sweep so I'm going to do the primary sweep settings here and I need to do a voltage based on the voltage source of VCE which I need to go back and change um, with a start value of 0, 12, and we're going to increment every point one of a volt. <clears throat> Once that's done, um, we also want to do a secondary sweep. So let's enable the secondary sweep using the current source. The current source is I1. Um, it's a linear sweep, and we're going to start at uh, 40 microns. 200. Increments. So that gives us the basic two simulations that we want to run. So let's just go and make sure we modify this. So this is the name of the voltage source to be VCE. Okay, so what we need to do then is we'll place a current marker. So again, P spice markers, we can place a current this way. Or we can do it directly from the, the icons here and we'll place one on the transistor pin so we're going to go on to the, uh, the collector of the transistor. Once that's done let's run the simulation. So we've got some, some results here so if we then follow the, the instructions from the book uh, let's make some changes to some of the graph settings. So we'll look at plot, 
and access settings we look at the y-axis uh, and we'll change the data range to be a user-defined data range and we'll just do this from 0 to 40 microamps and let's click OK to see the changes we'll then go to the plot axis settings we'll look at the y-grid and we'll uncheck the automatic option and set the major spacing to be 10 which is set already by default let's click OK and then we'll also go back to the plot axis settings let's look at the X grid and we'll set both of these to none click OK and then we have got some options to then add some labels to these to these uh, these gr this graph here so there's an option plot label and then we've got plot text now we've got an option to change the font now this is only going to change the font locally on the on the specific text that we're about to add so what we need to do is we, if we actually go to the the tools and options menu um, the color settings we can actually go and change sorry the font settings go to the change label font and we can actually select the color here to make it match uh, the example in the book so silver is the, the the selected color so we'll click OK and then we'll go and label the text so label text 